We're making another traditional Maltese recipe today, a Maltese bread pudding using leftovers of Maltese bread if you have any. Otherwise, let it dry out and then use it up to make this delicious, moist, chocolatey pudding. And we're having a look at the recipe. For my Maltese bread pudding, known as pudina, I'm using a loaf of Maltese bread, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, 150 grams of butter, or 100 grams of coconut oil, the zest of a quarter of a lemon, the zest of a quarter of an orange, four eggs, four drops of vanilla extract, 25 grams of sultanas, a quarter of a teaspoon of mixed spice, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, 25 grams chopped dark chocolate, two tablespoons of jam, 125 grams of sugar, a shot of your favorite liqueur, or you can also use orange flower water. 25 grams of candied peel, 50 grams of coconut, 75 grams of pure ground almonds, and 70 grams of custard powder. Then you will also need enough water or milk to soak the bread. I'm using a Maltese loaf. It's best to make this pudding using the authentic Maltese bread and I've let this one dry up and cut it up. Cut it up. I've let it dry up for a few days in the bag. And then I'm going to soak that in water. I'm also using some light brown sugar, some citrus zest. I've also got my custard powder, some eggs, jam, then the spices which are very important, a pinch of ground nutmeg and then I've got my mixed spice and quite a bit of cinnamon depending of course how much you like it. I'm adding to this some coconut, some candied peel, sultanas, some colorful cherries and some pure ground almonds which are right over here and then I'm topping this pudding up before I place it in the oven with some flaked coconuts. I'm starting with my Maltese bread which I've soaked. I've soaked overnight. You can soak it in milk or in water and I've used water and now I'm just using um, some gloves and I'm going to squish it all up. appears quite uniform I'm going to drain the water out so I'm starting with my bread and placing it in a large bowl I'm going to add my coconut next I'm adding my ground almonds Then the sugar, I'm using light brown sugar. You can of course use stevia for this recipe. And then the spices. I'm starting with some ground cinnamon. Next is my mixed spice. Then my nutmeg, just a pinch. In goes the vanilla. And my custard powder. Candied peel. I'm adding my cocoa powder. Mix 
next goes my jam. And some cherries. Then some sultanas. My citrus zest. Some butter or coconut oil. Some dark chocolate. I'm chopping it up. I'm adding my chocolate. And finally, my eggs. to mix everything together. And finally, you can add your liquor or favorite alcohol. I'm going to add some orange flower water. Depending on what you like, you can also add some juice if you wish. I'm starting by spraying my dish with some non-stick spray. You can bake it as it is and in this case you'll need a temperature of 180 degrees or I'm going to place on the top some coconut flakes and in this case I need a lower temperature of about 150 degrees centigrade so that the top does not get burnt. This is ready to go into the oven. I need to leave it in the oven for about 45 minutes on a low temperature and then allow it to cool completely before I cut it up. We're going to have another quick look at this recipe with thanks to Renato Briffa, who's a senior lecturer at the Institute of Tourism Studies, a specialist in Maltese sweets. And this recipe was passed on to him by his dad, who owned a confectioner's in Oldman Street, Valletta in the 50s. And here's the recipe again. For my Maltese pudina today, I used a loaf of Maltese bread. I added four tablespoons of cocoa powder. You can either use 150 grams of butter or I used 100 ml of coconut oil. The zest of some citrus. I used lemon today. You can use a mix of lemon and oranges. Four eggs, some vanilla, 25 grams of sultanas a quarter of a teaspoon of mixed spice, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, or use more as I have today, if you like it. A pinch of nutmeg. I also added between 25 to 50 grams of chopped dark chocolate, two tablespoons of jam, 125 grams of sugar. I used soft brown sugar, and I also used some orange blossom water, or you can use your favorite alcoholic drink, just a shot or a few tablespoons. 25 grams of candied peel, 50 grams of coconut, 75 grams of ground almonds, and 70 grams of custard powder. I actually soaked the bread in water, but you can also use milk. I've taken my pudina out of the oven and I let it cool down completely before cutting it up.
I hope you'll try out this recipe. You can literally use all the ingredients you have in your cupboard. I'll see you soon.